My name is Eric Garay. In this little video segment, we're going to take a look at the Omni Advanced Liquid Cooling for GPUs by Coolit Systems. You may have recently seen uh, their Vantage ALC, which uh, released for the CPUs. Now, you might be wondering, why would somebody put liquid cooling in a computer? Well, liquid cooling is actually a very efficient way to cool off your CPU or video card, your GPU. Uh, in some cases, also the motherboard. And in certain configurations, if it's uh, set up correctly, it can be much quieter, which is basically why they've created the Omni. It's also a really good solution for today's NVIDIA GTX 480s, which I'm sure you're well aware of, has been topping uh, the 90, 90 Celsius temperature mark, some of them into the uh, hundreds. So what we're gonna do is give you a close-up view of what's going on. Here we have the Omni ALC out of its uh, OEM box here. It's not a retail box, so eventually everybody will see much nicer graphics and whatnot. You'll notice that it's already pretty much assembled. The only thing you have to do is install it on your video card, whether it be the 5970 or GTX 480. And remember, if uh, your future card is not compatible, uh, all you have to do is change the interposer plate. Now, uh, some of the uh, current generation will be supported soon as they release more uh, of these blocks that support it. Now the back side here you can see is just mainly solid uh, aluminum here. They've used some plastic tubing here for a little bit of flex because uh, everybody's system is going to be positioned just a little bit different. Uh, the block here, the side that attaches to the, in this case the GTX 480, uh, you can see here the pads, thermal pads for the memory and then of course the hottest circuits for that give provide power to the GTX 480. The radiator itself is actually quite lightweight. The pump is a 50,000 hour pump. Uh, we've also noted that these pumps are often uh, very uh, quiet. Uh, they almost offer no vibration that we've been able to detect. The fan itself um, is an 8 rated to 1800 RPMs, so it means it's not going to be too loud a fan at all, really, even if it's at its highest. Uh, they've designed the radiator so that the fan can blow air through easily. That also cuts down on some of the noise that you're, that's uh, associated with the fans. Um, again, based on the special coolant that Coolant uses, uh, you don't have to do anything to it. Uh, it should be fine. It's all uh, warrantied for two years' time. The unit itself here uh, uses a special coolant inside. Uh, we're not sure what kind of coolant. It's probably top secret, probably uh, similar to a lot of the other artificial coolants out there, but this is cool, uh, Coolant System Special Blend. The coolant has built-in anti-corrosion, uh, other additives to prevent uh, any kind of uh, antifungal inside, but since it's mostly uh, artificial, you won't ever have to worry about anything like that. Uh, so far we've seen that it's done really good, especially under high temps, uh, including on quad-core processors, so we imagine it's going to be easy for the uh, video card in question. Basically all you really have to do to worry about is mounting this on your video card. Here we've got uh, four screws, that's pretty much about it for mounting it to the back of your case. Uh, just They made them black so that uh, threads easily through the case to attach to your fan. The best kind of cases these usually work with, uh, any of the ALC units, is a case that has a single 120 cooling fan in the rear. However, if you have the dual, you'll notice this one's deep enough that you can pretty much set it right next to the other. Uh, just position it best the way that uh, you see fit. All right, that's a quick look at the Coolit System Omni ALC GPU cooler. We're going to install this and uh, see how it performs compared to a GTX 480 reference cooler. Uh, we think this is going to be a, a really popular item, especially with the upgradable uh, GPU block that's on here. Uh, we've heard the phrase that it's uh, the last GPU cooler you'll ever buy. Uh, time will tell. So uh, stick around, read on, and click the subscribe button. We hope to see you again.